You guys, welcome back. The air is certainly frosty. My hands have dried and cracked. And the only thing that can warm me up is something hot and soupy. Today, let's make Kopi Aksen, Lao style chicken noodle soup. Both bouncy noodles and aromatic broth from scratch. Let's get started. Let's start by preparing some aromatic toppings. There's scallion and cilantro. The amount is up to you. Lime for a squeeze of freshness. and crispy fried garlic is a must. On medium low heat, let's fry some smashed garlic Keep an eye on them because they can burn quickly. Once they become golden, they're done. We need rice flour, and tapioca starch in equal amounts. A bit of salt for a bit of character. Combine them well. In goes boiling hot water. Start with about four and a half cups of water and gradually add a little more splashes in if needed. You don't want it to be too wet. I ended up using 5 cups. You might think it feels a bit dry, but keep mixing and the dough will come together. The dough will become smoother and less sticky. Flour a working surface with tapioca starch to prevent the dough from sticking. Divide the ball of dough into four pieces. Flour your rolling pin and dough with tapioca starch to prevent sticking. Roll it to your desired thickness. I like mine quite thin.
Cut the rolled out dough in half so that it's easier to work with. I like them at this length. Fold the sheets over to make cutting easier. These noodles store well in a Ziploc bag in the fridge for about 3 days and about a month in the freezer. Let's prep a few aromatics. Smacking them like this will allow them to release more aroma and flavors into the broth. Heat up some water on medium high heat. In goes the lemongrass, ginger, scallion, cilantro, garlic, and black peppercorn. Bring it to a boil. I'm using chicken thighs. Bone and skin are still intact because it adds more flavor to the broth. But chicken breast will work as well. Let's boil this on medium high for 15 minutes. Season with fish sauce, granulated chicken flavor, and salt. Start with less and taste. You can always add more, but it's hard to take away. Boil for another 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, remove the chicken so that we can shred it. Discard all of the aromatics. They've done their job in this broth. It smells really good. I wish you could smell it. Back into the broth.
This is mu ya, or Vietnamese ham. It's not very salty, but will add a savory, bouncy bite to this meal. You can find this in the refrigerated section of your local Asian grocery store. Simmer for a bit, and then the broth is done. Set aside. There are several ways to serve kap yak sen, and I'll show you two ways. Boil water in a separate pot to partially cook the noodles. Once the noodles turn a bit translucent, remove them and set aside. Pour out the boiling water and add in some broth and meat. Add the partially cooked noodles in and allow the noodles to simmer until cooked. The soup is a bit clearer and thinner in this method. Add your choice of toppings and enjoy. For the second method, you can add noodles directly into the broth and boil them until cooked. The broth will get thicker and more cloudy from the starch of the noodles. The noodles will absorb a lot of the flavor of the soup. Add your choice of toppings and enjoy. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you all in the next video. Be safe everyone.